But yeah, I just turned on the little lights for y'all. My verbiage changed completely when it comes to me trying to go get a new job. I say I'm going to get hired. I claim it because I know. I don't be like, oh, I'm going to go see if they're hiring. I'm about to go try to audition at Chica's. Like, no, I got the job. I'm going to get hired. I'm like, really, God? Like, you let me be that stupid. Like, you didn't, like, give me no weird feeling. Like, be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of your belongings. Because if you slip up, your shit can get got. What am I fighting over? Our bag probably got $300 in it, bitch. That's $150. What am I about to fight over $150 for when I can put on my dance shoes, get out on the floor, and make that shit back? To me, yeah, I'm ready for them to get into me. Armpits are hairy, but that's besides the point. And then, mm -hmm. I forgot my legs hairy as fuck. Welcome, bitches. We are hacking, taking over. So Michaela's inside, right? And we are outside of Cheetah. Cheetah. It's in Atlanta, Georgia. She went inside to get hired, and they told her to audition right here and now. I'm on the phone now, but I came here. They love me, bitch. They want me to audition right now, so I came to get my dance back, filled out the application, period. I was just told I can't wear boots. So after she comes and tells us that she made did good at the auditions, we are going to go to Milano at Vods. We're supposed to go to Ace Atlanta, but you feel me like my girl had the audition, so too late. And the little specials end at 11, so fuck that shit. So yeah, wish my bitch luck, cause y'all already know the girl made it, so period. Wish your girl luck. Good luck. Period, pussies. It's not gonna focus. Boom, bitch. Boom, bitch. Boom, bitch. Period. Period. Yeah. Cheetah, my first try, period. Period, fucking point blank. Like, bitch, ain't gonna lie, like, I feel accomplished as fuck. My verbiage changed completely when it comes to me trying to go get a new job. I say I'm going to get hired. 
I claim it because I know. I don't be like, oh, I'm going to go see if they're hiring. I'm about to go try to audition at Chief. It's like, no, I got the job. I'm going to get hired. Like, what I have to do when I get there, that's that. But my intention and what the fuck I'm doing is going to get hired. So it went Stay really in the good. Two lanes. Let me get over. It went so good. The audition was kind of weird though. Like, I in expected. 1.1 1 miles, turn left into the parking lot. I'm on the way to the Beast store. But I expected to have to do a lot more as far as the audition go, and I really didn't. Like, it was really an easy process. I would describe it more as like a body check, but in front of everybody in the club and on stage. That's the best way I could put it. Like, I wasn't even like on stage long. And I don't know if that's like the typical process or if it's because um, it was like a lot of girls coming in trying to get hired. Um, so yeah, the two girls that I auditioned with, they both got hired with me and I'm so excited about that. And y'all, this is like full circle moment because I have been like desperately fucking wanting a club that is exactly like Cheetah, like the vibe, right? I finally feel in the space I deserve. So me and the girl that auditioned with me, we followed each other on Instagram and today she has sent me this picture of me that always, you know, is everywhere. And so I'm like, why do we have DMs? 2020 in February, we had tried to talk, like become friends because I thought I was gonna go to SCAB for fashion marketing. I got accepted, bitch, but I couldn't afford it. But yeah, and I'm like, oh, full circle, so cute. Cause like we really did click in person. There was a girl that auditioned before us. She didn't get hired. So I don't really, I can't tell y'all what they're looking for, if I'm being honest. I just know that the house mom kept telling us, like, smile. Like, that's the most important thing about trying to get hired here is you have to smile. So I was really on stage just, like, having so much fun. Um, and it's crazy, too, because one of the girls that was already on stage, like, working, she, when I came in the locker room, she told me she watched my videos or whatever, and she ended up being on stage during my audition. And in the middle of it, she's like, I hope you get hired. And I'm like, I do too. And I just started smiling more. Like, that's what really made me feel it. Because I was like, wow, like, she's really supporting me. This is crazy. Can't believe I'm here. Like, I just feel really blessed. <laughs> blessed and highly favored. And I just feel like, finally. And y'all know I got hired at Diamonds. I've been trying to like think about if I still want to work there or not. Just because it's like, Cheetahs is what I want. I can work there day and night. She hired me on both shifts. So it's like, why not just be in here? Like, you know? But this is all of the paperwork. It's much less than rumors, bitch. I never, I don't even think I told y'all how much paperwork I had to fill out at rumors. But basically the clubs here, you have to clock in and clock out. Like I have, a nine to five bitch <laughs> like i'm filing taxes like it's tax forms in there rumors had a lot of tax forms um but yeah i have to go get a permit that's 270 something i think um and bitch why i can't go yet <laughs> y'all already know when i told y'all like i hired that gold rush i forgot i got hired at gold rush but y'all already know i told y'all like bitch i can't Bitch, I thought the little background check she was going to tell us something. Turn left into the parking lot. But that came back clear, but the house mom was telling us, like, if you have any unpaid tickets, any anything that show up, like, they're taking you to jail. You're at the real city of Atlanta, like, IRS type shit. So I'm like, Ugh. But y'all, this club, like, I got so much I could tell y'all about it, but I'm not going to tell y'all everything right now. It'll just come throughout the time of my videos like i will show y'all and tell y'all little information here and there the girl that was with me she said that was her fourth time audition at that club and i was like so why do you keep coming i really genuinely wanted to know like is the club just that good like that you just gonna keep trying till you get it or like you just a determined bitch like you done you been practicing what is it and she was like, no, one girl I know that works here told me she had to audition six times. But yeah, at this club, I can't do no floor, floor work, nothing. Like, that's why the audition was so simple, because it's like, bitch, you can't do shit for real. We just want to make sure you cute and look cute. But yeah, I'm going to like that club. I will see y'all soon. I'm like, what the fuck my nigga just tell you? My nigga said, get the fuck down. <laughs> My nigga, take it down. <laughs> I pistol, I pistol Hi guys. So it is Thursday. 
I don't know why my shit looks like I'm like super fucking zoomed in, but I swear, like, I have y'all as far away as y'all can go. Let me back up. <laughs> but today is Thursday. I'm about to go look at this new studio that I'm thinking about using for my classes now. I reached out, so I'm about 10 minutes away from there. About to tour. And I'm gonna let y'all see. A little sneak peek, little sneak peek. But yeah, I'm really excited because this studio is a lot nicer, a lot more spacious, and it just, it gives what I needed to give. Boss bitch. Yeah, like it's giving boss bitch for real. So, I'm excited for this one. I haven't been back to the other studio because my last week, yeah, last week when I had classes, so for two days, the first class I had, the second pole ended up messing up. So I was like, I gotta do, it was like leaning how my pole was doing at my house. Like all you gotta do is unscrew the top, scoop that bitch over. Maintenance wasn't there. So I'm like, okay, that's an inconvenient. I come back the next day for my class, the whole pole is out. And I'm like, why didn't you like let me cancel? Because I have group classes. Like how the fuck am I gonna teach a group of four people on one pole? Like, no. Then the next day after that, I had, I thought that it was gonna be installed. She told me, man, it should be there to fix it, da, 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 da. Then she's like, oh, we had to order a new pole. It'll be here next week. So she refunded me $10 per hour, which I just feel like is BS because I'm only here for the pole, babe, for both poles at that. And I haven't been since then. I don't know if they got the pole back in there or not, but I'm just not interested. I told myself I'm not doing pole classes until I can get a better place and a better place has found me. So that's what we're gonna see. To be working. Don't fucking play. We have nice quality poles, X poles, spinning poles, mirrors. Yes. Over here. Okay, yeah, I just turned on the little lights for y'all. Over here would be the changing room. So I have a little chair, a little fan, a little mirror for you to change, look cute, feel like a bad bitch. Bathroom. It is Saturday. It is currently 10.50 and we're about to head to work. Me and Anna ain't did this little trip in a mini beach. We driving to Macon. Well, she's driving. I'll be passengering. To Macon. We working at Club X there if you're wondering. I don't think I've ever like came out and told y'all, but I showed y'all one time. I'm pretty sure. It was, I think it was in like a stripper diaries vlog. But yeah, it's like a... This club used to be hard for me, but I feel like after working at Rumors now, I'll be able to do it. Rumors really like brought me so much out of my comfort zone that I feel like now I can work any type of club. I still have my preference. Or not, I wouldn't even put it like that. Not necessarily any type of club, but definitely the club in making. <laughs> like the club in making should be easy breeze money compared to like how I feel at Rumors. And I didn't even, shut the fuck up bitch. You know, that's why. She went inside to get us Red Bulls because, bitch, we're both over here, y'all. <laughs> like, I'm up, but I'ma definitely need a Red Bull because, baby, I've been up since four this morning and this club closes at five and we end up getting back here at six. It be a long night. We were supposed to bend left, but she was installing Miss Red. Shit, right? Because why the fuck did you let me walk out the house with my house shoes on? Bitch, I wasn't even paying that attention. 
<laughs> Hello, y'all. You know I was half sleeping. I was sleeping on the bed. She talking about some get up so we can go. <laughs> <laughs> like we did just wait for you. Well, I but no, we did room. gotta go because, honey, we not trying to pay the high tip up. No. Not on the first day back. I'm really excited about this. I feel like I did a pretty good job on it. Yeah. You going inside to get a Red Bull? Oh, fuck. I forgot to ride a Red Bull. Bitch, we was about to be I'm fucked. A, I'm gonna get a big one. All right. You watch on. Okay. I do. I would lock my hand. This bitch brought back a regular. You know what? Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. I, I ain't never tried this one, I swear. I, I always get like yellow, and then when I be in and making, they make me get watermelon. Hold up, because I can do it. Oh, I was being dramatic for no reason. It's not bad. I know. <laughs> I thought it was this whole time. I thought that everybody was telling me to get a club layer because the regular one was just like. Oh. I mean, it's Let's go. Keep a thirty on me, nigga. Don't get out the way. I can't even make it out the door to take my tip at. Sis, you so pretty. Okay, come on. Girl, they just walked in and drunk and argued. But my tip out tonight is 65. Literally got here right at the time for it to change. But it would have been 55. Just to not even have our money bag. So left at the club. I'm talking to my camera. We literally only got like our individual bag. This is mine. The shit is very weak. And then we had like a shared bag from section and reasons. Let me take it. Six sixteen. I just want to go to sleep, to be honest. To wash my ass, go to sleep. We got in touch with the owner of the club though. He's on check tomorrow to see if he's still here and run the cameras back. I'm saying like, I just can't believe it. Like, like that's like the most dumbest shit that could have happened today. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? After working hard, no. I'm like, really guys? Like you let me be that stupid? Like you didn't like, Give me no weird feeling, like, hey, you know how you forget and feel like you leaving something? Like, you didn't let me feel that besides my fucking dance bag. I'm like, damn, you did try to tell me, I guess. I was just not paying damn. attention. We both was on one, too. We was ready to go. That's really what that was. And it was so motherfucking hot. That's crazy. They was in the back. They had just walked back there. Huh? I said they was in the bed. They had just walked back there. I feel like I should DM her and be like, did you see anybody grab our bag? No, for real. I should have went back there with you, but then I would have looked. I would be like, oh, bitch. I'm tripping. <laughs> I 
Okay, so this is literally all that I came home with <laughs> since our money bag was left. So I hope y'all can hear me. The fan is loud as fuck, but I'm gonna try to give y'all a little rundown. I'm so exhausted. Like, if I could describe work today, I would just describe it as fucking exhausting. And like, by the end of the night, when all the girls come back in the locker room, we're all like out loud praying, like, God, like, please save my feet from these fucking heels. Like, it was painful. And we had to kind of like work extra hard for a little bit of fucking money. So long story short, y'all will see in the earlier clip our first little section. We was in there together. So we started our trash bag and we just kind of worked together throughout the night. And you know, did very little by ourselves. In the night is coming. I'm in the locker room dressed out like clothes, shoes on, like everything in my bag packed before she gets off of the floor like she's still out on the floor making her last little round or whatever and she has the money bag so when you come into the locker room i'm sitting there like this bag was inside of the money bag i'm sitting there i get my bag out to like check my phone or whatever while she's still packing the actual trash bag is just sitting on the counter in my perspective <laughs> i thought that she packed it up because like once i got this out i just put it inside my purse and i'm just really sitting there literally dozing off so I'm not really paying attention to like what she's packing up. I just assume we're waiting on you to fucking leave. So you're grabbing everything that you just had with you from your dance bag, your shoes, your purse, your makeup bag, as well as the money bag that you just sat down. But from her perspective, when I got my phone out, I should have, you know, packed that up with me. I personally don't know where the fuck I was going to put it. <laughs> but you know like we both just thought that each other had shit and so literally when we leaving the locker room the first time i had everything but i didn't get my actual like dance bag with my outfits and i had it on a chair i'm like bitch i don't even got my bag so i had to turn around we cracked the fuck up i had to turn around and go get my own bag out the locker room but when i went back there i'm not mindfully looking for our money bag because i already thought that she had that saying all of this to say bitch be aware when you're dancing be aware of your surroundings be aware of your belongings because if you slip up your shit can get got luckily there's cameras so if somebody did walk out with it we can find out who but it's just like how are we supposed to know how much money if they giving us back our right amount like you know so yeah all is gonna work out how it's supposed to she was like how are you not mad i really i don't care like it's just money to me if i work tonight and only made what i made that's my fault for not paying attention to my bag if by the grace of god my bag is found and you know i get my extra money that i made tonight great thank you but i can't be mad about it like and also maybe i'm just way too fucking tired to give a fuck Comment down below and let me know which one you think it is. Update. Last night we ended up getting in touch with the owner of the club. He checked his phone, like the cameras in the locker room. The bag wasn't there, which means somebody got it. Um, So the person that I was dancing with, she's mad. She's like, oh, I'm pulling up tonight. Like, the girl's going to have to see about me, da 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 um, And if they're not trying to, you know, like, give the money back, then she's fighting. And I just, like I said last night, like, I don't care. Like, I really cannot put any energy into that. Like, what what am I fighting over? Our bag probably got $300 in it, bitch. That's $150. What am I about to fight over $150 for when I can put on my dance shoes, get out on the floor, and make that shit back, and handle my business when I get done? Like, I feel like it would be different if... Oh, we stepped out of the locker room for a second and somebody stole our money. Like, our money wasn't stolen. Our money was found. And you can't expect everybody to have the same character as you. Because I know for me personally, if I would have found that money, I would have turned it in. I wouldn't have taken it. But everybody don't move like that, and that is okay. <laughs> the fuck am I going to fight about that for? So, yeah. I personally want to let it go. Um, but, yeah. We're supposed to see who took it. She want to go there tonight. I would go tonight, but I don't want to put myself in a situation where you're going to fight and I'm not. Because then y'all going to be looking at me like, oh, she's scary or oh, whatever fuck. Not that I give a fuck, but like, don't perceive me at all, bitch, because I'm not there. <laughs> so, yeah. And then I had found um, a few extra dollars in my purse that I had put in there. 
because I had some money like in my top that I forgot stuck in my purse. So I ended up counting last night. I left with ninety dollars. Um. So yeah, I had literally only made ninety by myself, and then probably around one fifty two hundred split in that bag, which is gone. Um, so yeah, my tip out yesterday was $65. And honestly, like when I reflect on this whole situation, I feel like that was just God showing me like, bitch, didn't I tell you not to bring your ass back here? Like, <sighs> we'll have to get into that. I'm gonna have to do like a visual stripper diaries update because bitch, I got a lot to say, but I had told myself that I wasn't going to settle at that club no more. But yesterday I went there. And yesterday it was really just for fun. Like just because I haven't worked in like a month, over a month. So I wanted to get back into it before I start working at Cheetah. And before I go to Diamonds or anywhere else. Like I needed to pick up my momentum again. I knew that was going to be an easy scene to do that. But it's like why are you backtracking when you already have made up in your mind and you have you owe it to yourself like it's a disservice let's put it like that but like i be disservicing myself when i go there and so i got put in a situation where it's like all right you wasted your fucking time and i have been living by if it don't bring me closer to god don't make me happy and don't make me money i don't have the time for it so why did i have time for that last night and i didn't get no money i wasn't happy bitch i was exhausted so um, y'all probably will not see me again until after I move and after I begin working at Cheetah. Um, I want to, like, show y'all me going to get my permit, tell y'all about that, and, you know, starting off my week, getting my new dance bag, getting my new outfits, getting all of that, getting maintenance, blase, blase, blase. Y'all already know the drill. So, like, comment, and subscribe if you're excited, because I'm excited. Ah, and yeah, I will see you guys soon. Mwah, mwah, mwah.